Hello, good evening everyone. Welcome to another session beta where today's aim is to take questions on externalities and government intervention. Let us take some questions for the day. Read the first question beta. A private company operates a coal mine which employs 400 workers. The mining operation have polluted the environment and created external cost. Externality ka case ho rahe? If the government intervenes, how could it internalize the externality? So, beta, internalize kaise kar sakte hain By applying Pigovian tax. Through Pigovian subsidies. Through restricting the pollutants. ये सारे तरीके होते हैं to uh, to go ahead and to uh, internalize the externality मतलब to reduce the external cost so what is it saying uh, you know if I look at the options what should be the option it should be B place a tax equivalent to the external cost so that the output is reduced so if I were to show you a diagram for this क्या होगा बेटा Marginal social benefit. Hmm. Now I have to draw the cost diagram. So this is my private cost. The currently the firm is producing this much. Now there is an external cost involved. Jiski wajah se this is marginal social cost. So ideally, my equilibrium should be here. This is my relevant equilibrium. I should be here. This is socially optimal equilibrium where MSC is equal to MSB. So if I want to achieve this, what will I do? Jitna bhi mera tax hoga, uh, jitna bhi mera external cost hogi, I will go ahead and put a tax. So when I will put a tax, it will increase the cost of the firm. So the cost curve will shift upwards. The cost curve will shift upwards. And when the cost curve will shift upwards, PC dash. So what will happen? This will become my new equilibrium. Right? So the answer should be D. Come to the next question. Bit. Transport economist estimate the price elasticity of demand for private car uses very low. What will be the most effective way of reducing road traffic congestion? So, ये कह रहे हैं कि गाड़ी यूज करने की जो कॉस्ट है वो बहुत कम है. तो अब हम क्या करें कि हम जो ट्राफिक है वो कम कर अगर हमने सब्सिडी इंट्रोड्यूस की साइकल्स पे तो कोई फायदा नहीं है क्योंकि गाड़ी को यूज करने की कॉस्ट तो कम ही है. This is not correct. अगर हमने रोड्स पे मूव करने के लिए ही प्राइस लगा दिया, if I just go ahead and I put a price on the roads itself कि ठीक है अब टोल है, तो भी कोई फायदा नहीं है, because then that toll will be irrespective whichever transport you use, no way. If I subsidize public transport कोई फायदा नहीं है क्योंकि प्राइवेट कार को यूज़ करने की कॉस्ट ही लो है, ये ही यहाँ का ट्रिक है, that is low, no use. The only way to reduce private cars and ask people to use transport, public transport and, and cycles is by banning private cars in this case. Or koi tarika nahi hai cars ko reduce karne ka is example mein. So answer should be A. Okay, beta, look at the third question. A, government, a reason for government intervention in the working economies is to store, is to correct for market failure. Sometimes though government failure may occur, government apne aap fail ho jati hai. Toh which is not a possible reason for government failure. Kab kab government fail nahi hogi. Government may uh, make decision based on out of date information. Yes, yahan pe government fail ho rahi hai. So for example, I have to decide on repo rate. But usko decide karne ke liye, mein jo apne predictors use kar rahi hoon, they are very backdated. So I myself will make wrong decisions, na? Government may make decision to reduce negative externality. This is correct. There is no failure involved here. Not a reason for failure. So, so B is the correct answer actually. This is not a reason for failure. 
ठीक है नेक्स्ट देख लेते हैं बनी द एक्सटेंट ऑफ मार्केट फेलियर मे बी डिफिकल्ट टू जज यस दिस इज अ रीजन फॉर गवर्नमेंट फेलियर बिकॉज लेट से आई एम गोइंग थ्रू द फिलिप्स कर and i somehow want to reduce unemployment so i increase inflation but i cannot i may not be able to judge exactly ki se kya result aayega there may be some errors i may make so that's a possible reason for government failure when circumstances change a government may be unable to respond quickly that is a reason for government failure so answer should be b okay come to the next question A country introduces a national minimum wage of ten per hour. In which industry is the NMW likely to cause the most unemployment? So they have given four cases, beta. Look at some cases. So, देखो यहाँ पे the minimum wage is ten, हाँ? ठीक है, beta. Now look here. इस market का equilibrium आ रहा है eight पे. Demand सप्लाई इक्विलिब्रियम है एट पे और आपने बोला टेन हम्म सो डिमांड एट टेन इज लो सप्लाई इज हाई सो दिस इज द अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट ठीक है बेटा कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट सेज एट नेक्स्ट सेज नाइन तो नाइन मतलब आपकी इक्विलिब्रियम ऊपर था तो अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट विल बी लोअर नेक्स्ट सेज टेन देर विल बी नो अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट so we understand that there will be no unemployment in case d because already equilibrium wage was 10 so no unemployment there will be less unemployment in case c as compared to a and b kyunki the wage gap matlab equilibrium 9 pe tha aur ab 10 rakh diya yahan pe equilibrium 8 pe tha so this is also less unemployment now beta we are left up with case a and b one of them is correct so now we read further it is talking about elasticities so think about it beta when will you be affected more by the wages which are changing when you are more prone to change in wages जब थोड़ी सी वेज बढ़ने पे सप्लाई बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ जाए डिमांड बहुत ज्यादा कम हो जाए तो अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट ऑलरेडी बढ़ जाएगी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड सपोज आई एम सेइंग कि वेज इज इंक्रीजिंग बाय टू रुपीज अब केस वन में सप्लाई टू से बढ़ी डिमांड टू से गिरी तो अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट फोर की हो गई प्लस टू दिस फॉल्स बाय टू केस टू में सप्लाई इज इंक्रीजिंग बाय एट डिमांड इज ऑल्सो फॉलोइंग बाय सेवन तो बेटा ये गैप विल बी फिफ्टीन ना सो वेन वेज रेट इंक्रीज इज द सेम बट यू आर हाईली इलास्टिक थोड़े से वेज बढ़ने पर सप्लाई एकदम से बढ़ जाती है बहुत लोग जॉब में आना चाहते हैं और फॉर्म एकदम से विड्रॉ कर लेते हैं तो अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट बढ़ जाएगी so when you are more elastic you are more prone to unemployment so answer will be a we're going to come to the next question under which circumstances will a subsidy from government be most beneficial if there are externalities from producing good x subsidies are given with positive externalities zyada tar ha so we will say that it should be positive externality due to that reason we should be eliminating a and b theek hai beta second should i give it with less elastic demand or more elastic demand so i explained you beta when elasticity is more small subsidy maine thodi si aapko subsidy di aap immediately it's like this take an example consider this person his elasticity is very low so when you give him some subsidy for studying for education he is not affected much by it us paise se usko zyada farak nahi pad raha so he will only increase education by some amount 
But imagine the other person, his elasticity is high. So you give him only some subsidy, he will quickly increase his education and take care of the positive externality. So when elasticities are high, these incentives work well. elasticity high So answer to this question should be greater than one. High matlab, it should be D. Elasticity should be greater than one. So answer will be D. Okay, beta? Okay, thank you so much. I hope you're doing these questions with me. All of you may be aware that we have CUET question bank series running up. You can purchase them from Artha Point's website. And at the same time, uh, the date sheet is already out for IIT Jam mock test series. So you can also enroll for the same. Okay, beta. Thank you.